have today and um, this is the first of three meetings that we're going to have with the committee on looking at possible usages for the historical courthouse. There'll be a lot of discussion. I certainly want to thank the committee for all of their work that they have put into it previously and the work that is just in front of them. But I'd like to go ahead and introduce the committee for most of these folks, well all these folks really don't need any uh, introduction, but we have Senior Superior Court Judge Arthur Mac McLean, who's the chairman, Donald Davis is here, Dean Holy will be the media representative and Dean is, could make this meeting, Tyler, Tyler Howard as well could not make the meeting, we have Ty, Mr. Tyson McLean as a business representative and Mr. Mike Dover as a legal community representative. Also staff, I'd like for y'all to be aware of those, we have Chad McLeod who is the county project manager, he will be very much involved in this process and he's here to listen as well as input and of course he has to take the final plans and then put the plans to dollars to see what our limited budget is we've got to work with and Chad does a great job in the county so he'll be here and for paid dues and all the work that she does as the county clerk and the public information officer. Uh, again, I can't say enough about what she does and I want to surprise Joe Pritchard and, and introduce him as well for what he does, a huge asset to this community, this individual and what he does and what he knows about county government is just to go beyond description. But I appreciate each and every one of y'all for what you do. At this time, I'm going to go ahead now and turn it back over to, I'm sorry, to Paige. Yeah, I want to just second what the uh, chairman said. We in Lyons County are just extremely fortunate the staff that we have available to help us out. Uh, Chad, Paige, and Joe uh, just are magnificent public servants. We don't really hear that term public servant very much anymore, but it's certainly true in each of their cases and as well the other members of the county uh, employees and staff. Uh, Mr. Chairman, you do a great job of leading us with the commission too. We appreciate your service. We thank all of you for coming this afternoon. Uh, we all recognize that we have a wonderful treasure in our historic courthouse. There are not many of them left. Uh, unfortunately, some of them uh, have been sold to the Yankee insurance companies from time to time. Uh, some have been uh, demolished and torn down, but fortunately, the county commissioners here in Lowndes County have had the foresight and wisdom to try to retain uh, a real landmark in its community. In the early days of our country, there were two basic landmarks. One was a governmental building and the other were churches and, and synagogues. That still should be our focus more so than it is right now. Uh, but we are fortunate in Mount Austin that we still have both of those available to us. And the commissioners and the committee have certainly been uh, vitally interested in making sure that we retain and properly use that which is a real treasure for this community. Uh, we thank the news media for the uh, help that they have given us and prepared for this. Scott, thank you for your, your show this morning. We're on the staff page. Made a great presentation uh, with you today. We appreciate that. Uh, we're going to be very anxious to hear from those of you that want to be heard. We do know that we are going to maintain the second floor of the courthouse as it is. That is a beautiful courtroom, one of the prettiest in the state. Uh, at some point, we're going to need a large courtroom for a high profile case. We don't know when it's going to happen, but it'll be there. Uh, currently, courtrooms are not built for large crowds. Uh, besides that, that courtroom is a magnificent structure for special uh, occasions. Uh, ceremonies, uh, children's educational programs, other things that for and so we want to retain it on that basis also. Basically we'll be talking about the first and third floors of the courthouse, so possibly some of the basement also, but uh, that's what we're going to be basically talking about. We are interested in what you have to say. Once we uh, have a chance to hear from uh, the citizens of the community and the three hearings that we're going to have, the committee will meet back together. We will compile uh, the information that we have and we'll consider possible uses for the county commissioners to uh, discuss and to plan on. Uh, there will be several factors involved and some of these will show up in the presentation that Bates is going to give us in just a minute. 
we have to consider the square footage. We have to uh, consider uh, the uh, layout of the courthouse itself in terms of load bearing walls and that sort of thing to determine uh, possible and probable uses for that. Uh, on top of all that, of course, we will have to consider what can be a legal use for uh, that courthouse. There are certain restrictions on whether governmental buildings can be used for certain types of activity. The committee will be taking that into account, and in the event of some question, we'll certainly be calling on our county attorney uh, to give us and the commissioners a ruling on whether or not a, a particular desired use would be uh, legal. Uh, again, thank you for coming. We'll be glad to hear from you. When you come up to the if you will please uh, give us your name uh, and uh, give us your connection if you are connected with an organization uh, so that we will be able to do that. If you uh, have a contact that you're willing to share with us, please give us that also. Uh, Mr. Chairman, have I covered everything we need to do at this point? Uh, yes, sir, I think so. Just one thing. We we do have a good group of people here, and we've got a lot of input, and we're going to have several meetings, so we'd like for you to make your, your uh, comments very, very pointed, to the point, and let's kind of maintain a 10-minute first-person timeline. That way, everything will kind of move through very smoothly. You will also know that if you have any additional information that you want to submit to the, kid, uh, to the committee, it can be sent uh, to uh, Page at the county clerk's office. Uh, do they have your yes, email number? Yeah. Uh, you can do that. Anything that needs to be submitted to us, please do so no later than June 30th. Because after that period of time, we will be meeting and uh, trying to make sure that we finalize our work so that the commissioners can then begin their work and make the final decision on the use of the uh, make trust we have by the office. Thank you very much. As Don Davis on in, Tyson McLean next to him, Mike over here. Uh, as Paige mentioned to you, Dean Foley was out of town, was not able to uh, attend. And Tyler Howard had some other kind of commitments, I believe, also. So, again, thank you very much, Paige. You will give us the PowerPoint. Thank you very much. <laughs>